Hey guys, welcome to part two of this tutorial. So in this in this part two, we are going to focus on creating adapter and displaying our recycle view items. In part one, we focused on creating the layout for the recycle view, view holder and also adding the recycle view. As you can see, I've listed here in part two, we are going to create the recycle view adapter and even the model so that we can be able to display the data. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create my model class. So I'm going to have item model. I'm going to have it as a data class. So I'm going to change this one. And within it, I'm going to have val image and images of type int. I'm going to have val name. This is the name of the image, which is of type string and val description, the description of the image, and it's also of val type string. And I'm going to implement cellularizable. The reason I'm implementing cellularizable is because I'm going to pass these details to a new class or to another class once you click the Sakura view item. So the next thing I'm going to do is to copy my items and paste them in our drawable folder. So I'm going to copy the images and paste them here in my drawable folder. I'll leave the link in the description where you can download all these images. So the next thing I'm going to create is my adapter. So I'm going to have Kotlin item adapter. In my item adapter, I'm going to extend the Sakura view dot adapter. And I'm going to pass item adapter. And I'm going to create in a class called item adapter beholder. Click Alt Enter and then create this class. Within the class, extend the Sakura view dot beholder. Then click Alt Enter, change constructor invocation, and finally click again. Alt enter and add constructor parameter item view. So then back to your item adapter, click Alt enter, change constructor invocation, and finally implement the method. So we have three methods we have on create, get item count, and on byte view holder. So I'm going to change this one and I'm going to bring it here down. Then I'm going to have my constructor here, which I'm going to pass var, and I'm going to pass a list of item model. So I'm going to have item model list. This is of type list of item model. Then I'm going to have function set data. I like creating this one so that I can be able to manipulate the data. So I'm going to have the parameter here. So this dot item list model is equals to item model list. And then I'm going to notify set data changed. So in my item adapter beholder, I'm going to have val image view, which is item view dot. As you can see from my row items, we have image view, so that is image view. Then we are going to have Let's import this one. I'm going to have val name, which is item item view dot tv name, and finally we have val description, which is item view dot tv description. So the image name, the image view, tv name, and tv descriptions are from the low items. So we have image view. 
we have TV name and we have TV description. So then I'm going to have on create behold here. And I'm going to return my item adapter beholder and within it I'm going to have layout inflator dot from palette dot context dot fret al dot layout dot low items then I'm going to pass view group as palette and attach view to forces. The count I'm going to return the size of our list item list dot size and finally we have on byte beholder I'm going to have val item model which will be our list item order list and position so I'm going to set my data so I'm going to have image view holder dot image view dot set image resource that will be item model dot image and then we have holder dot name dot text which will be item model dot name and finally we have holder dot description dot text which will be item model dot description so that's all we need for our adapter so we have three main methods that is on create create item count and on bind the holder Finally, we have this class that extends the holder where we find all our uh, items that is image view and text view. And finally, we set the data on bind view holder. So the next thing that I'm going to do is go to my main activity and have one item list model which will be an array of item models and remember our item model requires three items we have the name we have the description and we have the image so I'm going to have alt drop dot the image we have the name of the image and finally we have description so I'm going to copy paste this one So I'm going to have the second image. Or that image. Or for the image here. So this is one, two, three, four, and finally we have our final image. So if you have more, you can just add them here. Then I'm going to create one item model list. And this one will be an array list of my item model. which I'm going to populate here. So we have four item in item model list. And I'm going to have my array list that is item model list dot add our item. Then we're going to set our recycling our recycling dot Layout manager is equal to layout linear layout manager dot. I'm going to pass the context as this. Then we have recycle view dot set fixed has fixed size that is true. And finally, we are going to have our adapter here. Value item adapter 
type item adapter and now we are going to have it as none so i'm going to have item adapter you see item adapter and within it i'm going to pass my item list model finally you are going to have the secular view and then you are going to set adapter to be our item adapter so that's all we need so let's learn and see what we have so in our first part we created an empty secular view so let's see in our part two So, oops, we only have the card view is matching parent, so I'm going to reduce this one in my hello item to love content. And I'm also going to give it a corner. And I'm going to give it four. And even I'm going to give it a background color, which will be white. Let's learn again. So the app is installing and then it's launching. So as you can see, we have our card, we have the name and the description. We have image, name and description. Of image, name and description. So the next tutorial we are going to. So let's first even uh, move this on a little bit lower. Let's just come here, padding top, you can give it seven. Let's remove this color and let's give it this one a top margin of two let's learn again so the app is installing there we are so we have the image we have the name and description so as you can see we don't have any click event so the next thing that I'm going to do is to add a click event, which will now be the part three of the tutorial. So as you can see, now part three, we are going to add on click listener. So guys, stay tuned for part three.